Good morning, all of you. I am Dr. Alok Agrawal, and I am here to take your next class on internal combustion engine having code ME five zero one. So today's topic of discussion is heat balance sheet, and this is the last topic of your unit number one. Okay, so let's start with heat balance sheet. So uh, we have seen that the performance of uh, IC engine is generally given by heat balance sheet. So to evaluate the performance of ic engine how ic engine is working how much energy is getting converted how much energy how much useful energy we are taking from the combustion of fuel all the things are come under the category of performance of ic engine so to evaluate the performance of ic engine we used to draw heat balance sheet or we has to calculate the different uh, parameters or different things to uh, draw the heat balance sheet okay so energy supplied to the uh, to the to an engine is the calorific value of the fuel consumed suppose uh, a engine consumed 1 kg of fuel in a given time and the calorific value of fuel is 42 40000 kJ per uh, kg so what will be the total amount of energy consumed by the engine it is like 40000 because 1 kg is the amount of fuel mass of fuel and uh, after burning 1 kg of fuel the uh, fuel will deliver energy of 40000 kJ so energy supplied to the engine is uh, is equal to the calorific value of the fuel consumed okay but uh, it has been seen that because we have seen lot of thermal efficiencies are there indicated thermal efficiency are there mechanical efficiency are there so the energy supplied by the fuel is not completely converted into useful work so some amount of energy or a main part of energy is getting converted in some other form and we are using a small amount of uh, useful energy from the total energy supplied by the Uh, fuel okay so we have to calculate that what uh, how from where the all these energies are getting distributed the energy supplied by the fuel in in which are the various parts the energy is getting distributed okay so this is called heat balance sheet so the uh, the main component of heat balance sheet are means the amount of energy generated by uh, fuel is uh, divided mainly into brake power which is the output of the engine heat equivalent to the effective work of the engine this is the output that we are getting in terms of brake power second heat rejected in the cooling medium as the engine work uh, cooling medium is required and uh, uh, a part of energy a part of heat is getting rejected into the cooling medium so we have to uh, total uh, part, among the total part of energy that we have the fuel is generated a part of energy is consumed by the cooling medium again some amount of heat is carried away by the engine with the exhaust gases because we have seen that exhaust gas also has some thermal energy so a part of energy is also getting uh, away from the engine through the exhaust gas and apart from this what are the uh, remaining things uh, are there which come under the category of unaccounted losses okay so these are the four main parts where the energy generated by the fuel is getting consumed that is brake power that is engine output heat rejected to the cooling medium heat carried away by the exhaust gases and unaccounted losses okay so the unaccounted losses what is this unaccounted losses it include the losses that like radiation losses because uh, it is a radiation is associated with temperature and uh, when combustion phenomena occur uh, temperature of the system is increased so because of that high temperature there will be definitely uh, loss due to radiation again there are various part of the engine and heat loss due to incomplete combustion as well okay so there are uh, all this come under the category of unaccounted losses so after calculating the energy useful uh, used in uh, engine output energy uh, heat energy rejected to the cooling medium and heat energy carried away by the exhaust gas the remaining energy we consider as a unaccounted losses okay so this is the theory of heat balance sheet Uh, we will solve one numerical and it will be more clear with that numerical that how the heat balance sheet can be prepared <coughs> so let's move into the problem so lot of things are given like the following result have uh, were obtained in the test of a gas engine when we perform a test in a engine gas engine the following result are uh, there like gas used is 0.16 meter cube per minute this is in volume per minute gas uh, usage of gas is given <coughs> again calorific value of fuel is given in megajoule per meter cube density of gas is given air used <coughs> 1.5 kg per minute specific heat of exhaust gas is given 
room temperature is given 20 degree centigrade temperature of exhaust gas is given 400 degree centigrade cooling water per minute means the rate of flow of water per minute is 6 kg per minute A specific heat of water is given 4.18 this is also known to us rise in temperature of cooling water means when the cooling water is uh, getting inside the engine and when it is coming out there will be a rise of 30 degree centigrade in the temperature of the cooling water indicated power is given 12.5 kilowatt and brake power is given 10.5 kilowatt so what it has been asked it has been asked to draw a heat balance sheet for the test on per hour basis means when we will uh, run the engine for one hour on the basis of that we have to draw heat balance sheet so uh, we have already seen that what we are uh, what are the various thing that we are required we require what is the total amount of energy that is getting supplied to the engine and how the energy is distributed in various activities we have to do that only okay so let's start heat supplied at ntp that is equal to mf into cv into 60 because we are talking about kg per hour okay so this is this is uh, in minute 0.16 is in minute so to multi, uh, to convert it in hour we have to multiply it by 60 mf into cv when we will uh, do 0.16 meter cube per minute into 14 into 10 to the power 3 kilojoule per meter cube meter cube meter cube will be cancelled and we will get kg per minute now this kg per minute is to be converted into kg per hour so we are multiplying it by 60 so we are getting 0.16 into 14000 into 60 so total we are getting this much amount of energy that is 134400 kJ per hour of energy is getting generated by the fuel when it burn in one hour okay is it clear now next is heat equivalent to brake power so heat equivalent to brake power brake power it is given 10.5 kW what is this watt joule per second so here it is uh, sorry here it is kJ per second what means kJ we can write it as a kilojoule per second but here we are taking heat supplied as kilojoule per hour so again we have to convert this kilojoule per second into kilojoule per hour so to convert this kilojoule per second into kilojoule per hour we have to multiply it by 3600 means first 60 by for converting it in kilojoule per minute and again by multiplying by 60 to convert it in kilojoule per hour so we are multiplying it like this 10.5 into 60 into 60 we will get 3700 kilojoule per hour of brake power it is generating okay so heat equivalent to brake power first part is over next is heat lost in cooling medium we know that it is given that the water has a specific heat of a specific heat of 4.18 and the rise in temperature of water is 30 degree centigrade so the specific uh, the amount of heat lost in cooling medium can easily be calculated as mcp dt delta t again m is uh, uh, is uh, taken as 6 it is kilojoule per kg per minute cooling water per minute it is given so it is kg per minute cp is given 4.18 rise in temperature t uh, t of water out minus t water in will is given 30 degree so this will come in kilojoule per minute so again we have to convert it in kilojoule per hour because in problem only it is said that you have to calculate the things in per hour basis so again we have to multiply it by 60 for converting it from kg per minute to kg per hour so we will get 45144 kJ per hour amount of heat energy is getting lost in the cooling medium okay next is mass of gas used uh, next what we have to calculate we have to calculate that the energy taken away by the exhaust gas so for uh, evaluating this we have to do this that it is given mass of gas used so it is given 0.16 is the volume of gas used when we multiply this volume by density of gas we will get mass of gas used okay So we will get uh, mass of gas used uh, by 0.16 into 0.65. So we are getting 0.104 kg per minute. Again, it is coming in per minute. So this much is the amount of gas that is used by the engine in per minute. Okay. Again, mass of air used is 1.5 kg per minute. So uh, mass of gas used and mass of air used we are getting. So exhaust gas will be the combination of this thing, both things. Exhaust gas when this gas will burn. mass uh, according to law of conservation of mass mass of the gas will remain same okay so this much gas will be converted into when combined with this much air is converted into exhaust gas so total amount of exhaust gas will be mass of gas used plus mass of air used so total mass of exhaust gas will be the summation of both the values that is gas used and air used so we will get 1.604 kg per minute is the total amount of exhaust gas per minute okay 
so heat carried away by the exhaust gas here it is given that the temperature of the exhaust gas is 400 and room temperature is 20 means air is at initially it is at 20 degree centigrade and after exhaust gas after combustion the temperature of the air will become 400 degree centigrade okay so there will be a rise of temperature of 380 degree centigrade so here we have to uh, do this this will this is the mass of exhaust gas that we have just calculated 1.604 specific heat is given one of exhaust gas one kilojoule per kg kelvin <coughs> Again, rise in temperature is 400 degree is the temperature of exhaust gas and 20 degree is the room temperature. So this is the rise in temperature. And again, this all the all the things is coming in meter, eh, sorry, mi minute, kilojoule per minute. So to convert it in kilojoule per hour, we are multiplying it by 60. <coughs> so finally, heat carried away by the exhaust gas is 36571.2 kilojoule per hour. So this is the amount of heat carried away by the exhaust gas in per hour basis. So to calculate the account of loss, you what we have to do? This much is the energy generated by the fuel, and these are the three things that we are calculating: that brake power, energy equivalent to brake power, energy carried away by cooling water, and energy carried away by exhaust gas. So when we uh, sum this and we will subtract this from the total energy supplied by the fuel, we will get unaccounted loss. Okay. So this is very simple. So we are getting unaccounted losses as fourteen thousand eight eighty four point. 2 kilojoule per hour so uh, the solution part is over now we have to tabulate it in the form of table so that we can say that we have draw heat balance sheet so it consists of two parts one is input the energy is input by the combustion of fuel so heat supplied by the fuel is uh, 13 uh, 13 44 00 kilojoule per, on per hour basis so here we have to write per hour so that we are not supposed to write again and again unit here so it is like this Okay, it is one lakh thirty four thousand four hundred kilojoule per hour. Uh, energy is given by the fuel. Now, the right hand side uh, will be the distribution of this total energy. So, heat equivalent to brake power we have already calculated thirty seven thousand eight hundred. Heat loss to cooling medium is forty five thousand one forty four. Heat loss to exhaust gas just we have calculated thirty six thousand five seventy one point two kilojoule per hour. And unaccounted losses is one four double eight four point eight kilojoule per hour. So again, obviously, this will come out to be total heat supplied because we have calculated this accounted loss like this only. So obviously, it will be same, but we have to represent this in the form of table to draw the heat balance sheet. <coughs> okay. So this is how the problem of heat balance sheet is solved. I hope it is very much clear to you. So this much is for heat balance sheet. Thank you very much. In next class, we will start our next unit. Thank you.